What's up guys Darren here bringing you another video. And in this video I will be showing you guys my pick for the top 5 exposed modules. With that said, let's get this video started. So for those who do not know about Exposed, Exposed is a framework for modules that can change the behavior of the system and apps without touching any APKs. This is one of if not my favorite Android app out there. I use Exposed modules on a daily basis. So this is what the user interface looks like. So the first module we have here is Xinsta. The Xinsta module allows you to easily download images and videos from Instagram by adding a download option. So I'm going to open Instagram to show you guys how this works. So this is a picture I want to download. All I will need to do is select the overflow menu and as you can see there's a download option. Just tap on that and the picture should start downloading. We can then just open it from there. So if there's any Instagram post that I like, it is as easy as that to download it. The next module we have here is YouTube Background Playback. This module enables background playback in YouTube. So you can play a video on YouTube and you will be able to do something else on your device while the audio is playing in the background. So I'm going to open YouTube and play a video. Now if I leave YouTube and I pull down the status bar, you can see that the video is still playing and there's the media control. I use this whenever I'm listening to podcast or music on YouTube. Then we have Boot Manager. Boot Manager allows you to run only the apps you want when the system starts up. So you can choose the apps you do not want to start up whenever your device boots up. So this is Boot Manager. As you can see I already have a lot of startup apps disabled. It is really easy to disable an app from startup. All you need to do is just select the app you do not want to start up. Then we have Advanced Power Menu Plus. This module allows you to customize various aspects of your power menu. So you will be able to add other options to your power menu. So now I'm going to open APM. These are all the options I already have on my power menu. If I want to add any more, all I will need to do is select this add button, then choose whatever I would like to add. So I'm going to add screenshot. You can also tweak this option. You can set when you want the screenshot option to be visible and you can change the delay time. Then select the check mark in the top right corner. Now the screenshot option is added. So if I hold it down on the power menu, as you can see there is a screenshot option. So I can select that to screenshot. And the last module we have here is gravity box. The gravity box module allows you to tweak almost anything on your device without needing to flash anything. So you can tweak your lock screen, your status bar, your navigation bar, pie controls, power tweaks, display tweaks, phone tweaks, media tweaks, and much more. This is the go-to module for customization. So I'm going to quickly tweak my status bar to show you guys. Here's a time lapse of me doing that. This is what my status bar looks like after tweaking it. If you did enjoy this video, then remember to smash the thumbs up button. And if it is your first time here, then you do want to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.